Before we start, if we could hit 150 likes on this very episode, double upload today. A lot of people was asking, why did you sell Lionel Messi, Sonny? He just wasn't getting the football. He was linked to Inter Milan. And not to mention, I left a poll on the video and you guys said sell Messi. We also won the race and bought Yeri Mina. And later on in that day, or was it the day after, he then signed for Everton. I want you guys to choose a centre-back from this list unless you guys have another centre-back in mind. I've got my boy Manolas, Jose Maria Jimenez. We've got my boy Regani there as well. He has got a two-month injuries also we won't be able to play straight away moving down we got Nicolas Sual Sual however you pronounce his name we got Alda Vyraud who is not at Tottenham Hotspur in this career mode I said I don't sign players for the top six teams we don't have to do that because he's at Paris Saint-Germain which means we can sign Alda Vyraud we've got Koulibaly there as well we've got Robert Nolly and we've also got um, Titi I know Jerome Boateng has been linked with Man United as well but he's actually re-signed to Manchester City in the career mode for 44 million so we can't go after him okay I want to get straight into this career mode if you haven't already do go ahead and smash out the like button down below and whilst you're down there subscribe to the channel if you are new and also comment in the comment section down below too if you want to be in for shout out of the day and today's shout out of the day goes out to my boy Enzo S underscore M who says 705 Kane claimed that goal if you didn't see the last video go back go to 705 see the goal it did take a bit of a deflection and Kane just may have claimed it moving on Manchester United career more Black Bear Rovers in the FA Cup let's go get it boys welcome back to the Manchester United career mode <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the Most Not Gaming. This is Boy Sunny, and we are back with another episode of that Manchester United career mode. Like I said, we've got Blackburn Rovers. It Rovers? Blackburn Rovers. And you can see from the team there, we've got really good players already in the squad. If we go down to my second players, second team players, reserve players as well, you can see we've got really good players down there as well. I just want to literally give a lot of players a chance for this game. It's FA Cup football. It's Blackburn Rovers. We should be winning the game anyway. And like I said, I want to give players a chance to win this game. I was actually going to play Yeri Mina for this game but since he's signed to Everton now we're probably not going to play him probably going to move him on as well and up top we'll go with Alexis Sanchez why not in fact no after his performance against Leicester City no mate we're going with Andreas Pereira who had a really good performance we'll swap him for Neymar there and then put Hamas Rodriguez wait what, what what am I doing Hamas Rodriguez on the left and Pereira in cap David De Gea looks out wide and finds my boy Mounier Mounier into the middle let's go Saul down the right Rashford Rashford plays it into Neymar. Neymar waiting for support. Gets it from Rashford. I see the middle as well. Nobody in there. Nobody in there. Marcus Rashford lays it off to Neymar. Nearly gets a shot away. I should have just shot with Marcus Rashford from there. Right in front of goal. And Rafa picks that one up easily. Blackburn Rovers holding the ball. Yeah, moving forward. They're not afraid to get forward. Blackburn. Oh, that's a good play as well. Down the right and straight at David De Gea. Luckily for us, boys, that was a good chance. Cadiz. Cadiz plays it into Bennett. Bennett plays it on the right. Here's Ashwari. Ashwari into Dak and into Samuel. Samuel plays it back into Smallwood, who's lost the ball. And Manchester United can break. We've got the pace to do that. Neymar. Neymar's got pace on his right-hand side through Marcus Rashford. Here he goes. It's Rashford. It's what? Oh! I thought it was one. It is finally one. 1-0 one Manchester United. And Marcus Rashford scored the first goal in the FA Cup for us this very season, boys. I believe that's our first game in the FA Cup this season. If it's not, then obviously I've got that, like, incorrect. But Marcus Rashford bags himself a goal. He's put it in. Look at that. Quick touches onto his left peg. I like the way he's just slid across the floor there as well. 1-0 United. You guys wanted legendary. We are on legendary. You guys wanted sliders. I put the sliders on to make it harder for myself. And still, we are winning games and picking up results. Here come Blackburn though, just as I say that. They've got a chance. They still have a chance because my tackle hasn't worked. It hasn't worked again. Oh my God, I thought it went in. I think David De Gea might have saved that. He has it. It's gone wide. Goal kick for Blackburn Rovers. You come in here, mate. I'm right here. If you want to give me the ball, that would be great. He doesn't though. Because he's just not a nice guy. Here's Marcus Rashford. Into Andres Pereira. He's gone. He's gone. Andres Pereira. He goes for goal. And Neymar will pick up the loose ball. It's 2-0 Manchester United. 38 minutes played. You can't just say this FA Cup tie is ours now. We're back in this win. Back in this uh, form. Where we seem to just be bagging goals. And bagging in like rebound goals a lot. We, we've done it early on in the United career bosses when we change the sliders. We're doing it again, boys. Name over the goal. Blackburn Rovers moving forward, though. Here comes Samuel. Samuel down the right-hand side into Bennett. Who's Bennett, mate? Who are you? Who even are you? I oh, won a cross from Bennett. 
to a Zabi saving us there. Blackburn Rovers nearly, nearly pulling one back. Andreas Pereira and Fred linking up like they did against Leicester City because that is what they do. Fred trying to chase down the ball. Fred wins it back well. Andreas Pereira trying to get the ball. We do get the ball. We don't get the ball. Rashford can't win the header. Fred does the job though and plays it back to Blackburn, man. Every time I get the ball, it goes straight back to their players. It's getting on my nerves and they've got past me easily there. Here come Blackburn through the middle into Samuel. Two and Zabi wins it back. Back to Blackburn again. Samuel again. Plays forward. Samuel still got the ball. How have they, like, how many times are they going to keep the ball? Close him down, Mounier. Don't let him through. Don't let him through. He's played a really good ball forward into Samuel. Samuel in a Blackburn shirt. Whips it in. Alexandro away. Only as far as a Blackburn man. Big save from David De Gea. That is why he's 93 rated, boys. Because he makes saves like that. The reflexes are on point. Do we go for goal? I'm going to go ahead and play a short one, actually. We'll play it short. Play it back to Neymar. Uh, a Barcelona goal coming in. Barcelona goal. Oh, remember that goal against PSG where they played it back to Neymar from the free kick. He whipped in the ball and it went into the back of the net. I tried it and nearly actually worked. Blow that whistle, ref, please. There it is. The final whistle. We pick up the 2-0 victory. A clean sheet as well against Blackburn Rovers. And we progress to the next stage of the FA Cup. Come on. What? Been approached by Villarreal 33. I, mean, I don't think you guys are going to choose Manalos anyway. But anyway, I'm just letting you know they've been approached. It is time for a simulation. We've got Carabao Cup football against Chelsea pre-transfer deadline day though. So Kovacic isn't there. Also, Kepa isn't there. However, Couture has still got his space, his place even, in a Chelsea team and in the Chelsea squad. You can see Jorginho doesn't even start, not even on the bench for Chelsea in this game. He actually is in their squad, so I'm not sure what they've gone with there. We do score off the bat, boys. Dimitar Bale gets the first goal four minutes in. They do equalise, though, through a very unlikely goal scorer. Yet, how do you say his first name? Yuri is a t team. TM, T I don't know how you say his name. Bakayoko scores that goal. They've made a few substitutes. Dimitar Bale says, no way, Jose. Puts in the second goal and then bats you away. In off the bench, 89th minute. Saves Chelsea and it goes down to the second leg now. Two massive away goals though. You never know. It could work for us. Oh my god. I actually tried to release Thomas Lamar because we sold Martial and you guys wanted Martial back. So we kept him in the club and we tried to release Thomas Lamar in his place. And now we could be selling him for £81 million just because I couldn't release him, boys. We could make between 86 and £126 million, but purely because of the fact that I wanted to get rid of him as in place of the Martial transfer, and we really didn't make... We made the 175 mil, but we kept Martial. I'm going to negotiate and let him go for like 5 million pounds. I could probably make 150 pounds off him. I just want to say that, all right? I'm just putting that out there, boys. It is going to be sad times. But we are letting Thomas Lamar... I think to make it equal, it would be 7 mil. We're going to let him go for 7 million pounds, man. I can't believe we've actually just done that. Of course they're going to accept it. 7 mil for Thomas Lamar at 89 rated. They're taking him. I just want to keep it fair, right? We made 175 mil for Martial, who was 89 rated. So we're getting rid of an 89 rated for literally the same amount of money, because we do have the money, but we kept Martial. Here we go then, Manchester United versus Everton in the Premier League. Shall I play Yuri Mina? That would have been funny, right? If I played Mina against their club, against his club anyway, in real life. Yeah, do you mean, boys? It would have been such a good signing to Manchester United. It looks like we're going to have to go back with Fosu Menta in that back three with Varane and Lindo. Or have we still got Eric Bay? Where's Eric Bay at? Did Eric Bay pick up an injury or something? Oh, he picked up a red card. I was thinking, why can't I play Eric Bay in there? Looks like it's going to be Lindo then. Lindo alongside those two. Saul and Pogba in the middle. Dimitar Bala, Neymar, Lukaku, Mbappe. Marcus Rashford on the... You know what? Let's give Lozano a game on the right-hand side. I'm going to keep Safari on the bench as well. Let's go win against Everton, boys. We got this. Let's go. United straight from kickoff. I want a goal. Mbappe plays it back to Dimitar Bala. Here's Neymar. Neymar back into Dibby, Dibby into Mbappe, back into Lukaku, come on boys, we've got this, just play that good football, here we go, Kylian Mbappe, on the ball for Manchester United, that was a shot, that was a shot from Kylian Mbappe, and now it's showing boys, that shot error is definitely showing, if you guys didn't see the Arsenal career mode, we also shot and he went towards the corner flag, I think twice in the one game as well, Tassoon, trying to take on my defenders, he's just not that good boys, he's just not that good, Play that down the left-hand side. Here we go. Into the middle. Neymar. Neymar plays it into Mbappe. And back into Neymar. Here we go. It's Neymar. Tries to get himself a goal. Hit that son. It's blocked again. Massive block by Michael Keane. Putting his life on the line. That's what you want to see from your player. Here's Dibidabala. 
Dibby still. Dibby looks forward. We're trying to get the ball into Romelu Boys. He's got one hell of a foot on him. He's got the power behind him. We finally find him. Romelu Lukaku. Lukaku turns his man. Trying to whip him one from the right hand side. It whips in. It comes in. So we trying to shot. He's blocked again. Everything is getting blocked right now. I need some runners. Where's my runners at? There you go. There you go. Now we've got runners. Here's Romelu. Here's Romelu. He plays it into Mbappe. Mbappe with the turn. Mbappe looks forward. Very good football. Dibby that ball. Into the... No! He's on the floor, ref. Okay, it's offside already, but he's put Lukaku on the floor. Look at this off the ball in the middle of the box, boys. We get it into Dibby, who looks like he's just offside. And then, oh, it didn't show it. Of course it didn't. EA doesn't want to show the flaws in their game. Goal kick for Everton. It's booted forward. I think it's Pickford in there. Played back into the feet of Lukaku. Romelu round his man. Romelu's got space. Into the middle. His name are off the, the bar. It was Dabala even. And Dabala trying to get onto the loose ball again. Pickford picks it up again. We're getting the chances, boys. We are definitely getting the chances. Here's Roberts for Everton. He's played that one back. And it's come forward. And into the feet of Tosu. Tosu plays it to Schneiderlin. Get that out of there, son. Dibby Darbala picks up the loose ball and can play the ball into Killian. Killian Mbappe is alone here. He's one on one. He's taking that guy out of the equation. Killian Mbappe off the bar. Dibby Darbala picks up the rebound goal. Again, a rebound goal for Manchester United. We've hit the bar twice already in this game. And Dibby Darbala with the no, the no face celebration boys i saw someone say something about it I, I just don't remember what they said in the comments what that celebration means but he definitely always does that celebration i know that much where are you going mate where are you going oh he's played it into the center tashun schneiderlin against his former club he's got space opening up for him why is nobody closing that down why is nobody closing that down there were so many Man United players back there, but nobody closing down Schneider. And luckily for us, he scoffed it. Quickly get this in so I could take the ball and then counter on you and get my second goal of the game. David De Gea is catching that. Oh, no, he's punched it away, actually. Oh, beautiful touch from Lukaku. His touch isn't the greatest, boys, but his touch there was very good. Lukaku played forward into Mbappe. Mbappe back into Lukaku. Here he goes. The Belgian beast. The Belgian's still going. He's left him on the floor. Romelu Lukaku whips it into the middle away. And he's coming out to Paul Pogba with a boot. He's gone for the Pog Boom, boys. He's gone for it. Pickford was in the way, though. Oh, no. This isn't good. They've got three men up there already. There's a couple joining behind them. I do see them. Good tackle, though, from Lindelof. Stopping them from getting forward. Lindo showing his true colours, boys. And that is Manchester United colours. What a ball out from Mbappe. And here goes Herving Lozano in space. Acres of it. Herving cuts in. Herving cuts out. It's Herving Lozano. Oh, so close. He was doing everyone up, boys. He was so close to bagging himself a goal. Kylian Mbappe. Could look over the top. What a switch of play that is. Into Herving Lozano. Whips it in. It's Romelu. Blocked off the line. And away by the defender of Everton. How has he got that one away, boys? Here they go through the middle. Sandro. Sandro's got players with him. He's tried to get one into the middle. Rafa Varan wins that easily. And there's the whistle. Another three points on the table, boys. I see Arsenal right behind us on the table trying to catch us. And it's just not happening because we keep picking up the points. And that's what we need to do. Exactly what we just done. Keep clean sheets. If we, if we need to 1-0 it, then we could 1-0 it, boys. Just wing it. Just keep winning games. Loan offer in for Dimitri Mitchell. I spoke about this one before, boys. I'm not willing to let anybody go out on loan because it's the last season of the Man United career but anyway. And you guys wouldn't see them like next season or something like that. So we'll just reject them. Seven points behind us, Arsenal. That is really close. Almost too close for my liking. They've only lost one game this season. We're still on beaten we could be the new invincibles but at manchester united boys we've played 21 games during this season in the premier league so far we're unbeaten in it with 55 points so i know what you're thinking what center back are you going for sonny i can reveal that the center back that i want is aldovarald and i'm gonna go ahead and put an offer in but you guys can still choose if we take him so Paris Saint-Germain. I'm willing to do a player swap and offer you up a centre-back who have actually just recently brought in. Yeri Mina from Barcelona. He's a former player and they want £17.2 million. This could actually work. I'm looking to get rid of Yeri Mina, obviously, because we've only just recently brought him in. And he's an Everton player in real life as well. The current value is 29 mil. My value is 28 mil. You know what? I'll, F I'll offer you like 2 mil on top. They want that 17.2, man. I don't think they're going to budge 
much from that 17.2. What if we went ahead and upped it a little bit to the 5 million pound mark? Nope, but they want that 17.2. I'm willing to up it a little bit more. All right, I'm willing to double my offer in 10 million pounds on top of Yerimina. Okay, that's a better offer, boys. 10 million pounds and Yerimina. Two birds with one stone. We bring in Alderweire now and we get rid of Yerimina, who isn't a Manchester United player in real life where I thought he would be. So we get rid of him and we could bring in Alderweire. That would be a good deal. Or we could swap him for any of these other players as well. You guys can still make that decision. Is it going to be Varane, Eric Bay, and Alderweire as a back three? Or is it going to be Jimenez in there? Regardi, Nicolas Sul, Kulabali in there, who is now 88 rated. Um, Titi, who is now 88 rated. Who is going to be that third rock at the back for Manchester United? Let me know in the comment section down below. But for now, it has been your boy Sonny. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, smash out that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. And also, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below for shout out of the day. There is also links in the description down below if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. Go and do that, alright? I'm trying to get those numbers up over there, boys. And also, if you could like the, the pictures, that would be great, you know. Check me out on there. I'm always on there. Oh, don't forget, twitch.tv forward slash bros got game where I live stream as well. But for now, it has been me. You guys will be great. I'll catch you in the next one, boys. Peace!